Hi, and welcome to another anatomy painting video. For this video, we're going to be looking at the group of muscles called the perineals. The perineals are that group of muscles that sit on the lateral portion of the lower leg, and they're mainly responsible for eversion of the ankle. They consist of three muscles, the perineus longus, the perineus brevis, and the perineus tertius. You may see in some texts that they are referred to as fibularis, and this is because of the rationale that they attach, uh, or all of them originate, on the fibula. Uh, but for the sake of this qualification and for this video, we're going to be calling them the perineal groups or uh, perineus. The muscle I've painted on first is the perineus brevis. And later I'm going to add the perineus longus over the top. The perineus longus originates higher and inserts lower. So the perineus brevis, the one I've already painted on, that I'm just about to paint over, attaches from, from the fibula itself, so it originates on the fibula, and it inserts on the base of the fifth metatarsal in the foot. The perineus longus that I'm painting on now originates from the head of the fibula. It runs all the way under the foot and it actually inserts onto the cuneiform and the base of the first metatarsal. Interestingly enough, the tendon for the perineus longus crosses that of the tibialis posterior and it inserts right next to the tendon for the tibialis anterior. Both the perineus brevis and the perineus longus create eversion and plantar flexion at the ankle. It's probably worth mentioning at this point that while these muscles do create eversion at the ankle, their role in relation to our everyday life would be slightly different. It would be to stabilize the ankle by contracting isometrically. An isometric contraction is where the muscle generates force but doesn't change in length. And this helps us keep balance as we shift the weight from one leg to another during running or walking. Many people that roll their ankle and end up with an inversion sprain, they not only damage the ligaments on the lateral aspect of the ankle, but they're also likely to damage this group of muscles as well. The final muscle that I'm painting on uh, at the moment is the perineus tertius. Now, with all of these muscles, their name, like with a lot of anatomy, is giving you clues into its position. Longus means longest, as it's the longest of the perineal group, and brevis means shortest. Tertius means third, so we have the longest uh, perineal, the shortest, and then the third um, so the final one is the perineal tertius or the perineus tertius. It originates on the fibula itself and inserts on the top surface of the fifth metatarsal. Now this muscle is slightly different to the other two. It does create eversion at the ankle, but instead of plantar flexion, it actually assists with the movement of dorsiflexion where you bring the toes upwards. And there's the showcase of the perineal group. I'm just showing that perineal longus tendon running all the way under the foot and attaching on that cuneiform and the first metatarsal. I'm going to throw some pictures up in a minute so you can see that better. And for movements, we have plantar flexion from the longus and the brevis, eversion from all three of these muscles, 
and the Peroneus Tertius will create dorsiflexion, as you can see there. And then I wanted to show, I haven't got the tibialis posterior on, but you can see the tendon running right next to the tibialis anterior there, which is quite cool. I hope you enjoyed this video and you found it useful, and thanks for watching.